سلام بیدنگان عزیز بله اومدیم با یه برنامه دیگه وی آی پی با پشمان توی یو سی ال ای یونیورسیتی کالیفرنیا لاس آنجلس برای فرش قرمز د 22nd انیو سیمپلی شکسپیر با چند تا هنرپیشه حرف بزنیم چون امروز ایل سلبریز میگیریم یعنی هنرپیشه که تو 100 دیویست فیلم دیدیم و منم اومدم برای شماها یه برنامه جالب بزنم و با اینا حرف بزنیم بیا با من ببینیم با کیا حرف میزنیم بیا دیگه We are here with the legendary Tom Hanks. You know, I came to this event basically just to see you. It is an honor to meet you, hey, sir. Nice to meet you. I would love to shake your hand. So how are you doing today? I'm all right. You you're know, here I've been with your, busy. You're here with your beautiful wife at this amazing event. We've been here since about 10 o'clock. The way this works, we read through it once, we rehearse it once, we perform it once. So if you're not here, you are square. Exactly. And so tell us what are you doing for this event today? Uh, I'm playing bottom. Wow. Bottom, the, the weaver. Uh, bottom this summer, rather. I'm not sure what bottom does. And so, so for the viewers, tell us what this event does for the kids out there. Uh, first of all, it makes the audience laugh. Exactly. That's why there's all fist the funny guys to the box. Out. That's why we have so many people in it. It is not work. It's not medicine. And this event will uh, help fund the entire season for the center, uh, Shakespeare Center. It will help fund the program that they have called uh, Will Power to Youth, which brings uh, high schoolers into the theatrical experience. And it will help fund the program that we now have for veterans that has taken guys, uh, and men and women, who have never done anything so much as work backstage, bringing them into a, a process where they actually take part and might even learn a new skill or so. That's amazing to see A-list actors contributing to the whole community instead of just sitting in their $50 million mansions and drinking Oh, I do Shatter. that too. Oh, he does uh, that too. Okay. But no. <laughs> well, tell, well, tell us what's coming up in your career we should look forward to. Uh, I'm d yeah, well, I'm just trying to stumble through tonight, man. Then I'll wake up tomorrow and try to figure out what's on the calendar. Well, I got to say, you've been in almost every legendary film that I love. Can I just say it for you? I know about, I know you've heard it like a billion times. Run, Forrest, run! Uh, hey, that's me. And do you still keep in touch with Wilson? Wilson, the volleyball. Wilson floated away. Oh, he floated he, away. He disappeared. And you never, never called him, him nothing. I never saw him again. Oh, exactly. As far as I know, he walks ashore somewhere in Indochina, and um, he's fish farming somewhere. And how, does, and how, <laughs> how does it feel like to be here with all these A-list celebrities? Uh, Are you all still good friends, though? Uh, we see each other periodically. We run into each other, and we've been doing this now. Uh, Actually, Rita's been doing it for 22 years. I've been involved in about 19. Wow. So we do it every year. We really look forward to it. It's a good workout for us. And it's no, it's no medicine, you know? It's a workout, but no work. Well, I gotta say, it's an honor meeting you, Thanks. shaking the hand. Hopefully, the gift of acting will pass by. Uh -oh. here with the legendary Billy Crystal. Oh, no. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good, I'm good. One of the, you're my inspiration, because I'm a host, and you are one of the best hosts of the Oscars, I gotta thank say. Thank you very much, thank you. And what brings you here today? We're good, well, we're gonna do a little Shakespeare in about 20 minutes. Exactly, and tell us, what's coming up in your career we should look forward to? Uh, well, I have this great movie called Parental Guidance, which opens this uh, Christmas Day, with Bette Midler, I, and Marissa Tomei. Uh, very excited about that, and um, so that's the big thing coming up. You know, the first thing I saw you in was the first time America fell in love with you when Harry met Sally. Well, and did that really pick up your whole career? Well, it was a great, it was a, everything was going good, that just made it go better. So can you do me a favor then? Uh oh, what? Can you make sure the Oscars know that if they need a new host or a co-host? He's right here. Of course, he's right, right here. here. And he'll work cheap. Work cheap, well, you know what, for the Oscars, hey, I'll work for Lobster. I'll work for Lobster. Okay. And so what are you planning on doing for the Shakespeare event? Well, we we're doing a Midsummer Night's Dream, Midsummer and we're all playing several parts, and wow. it's great fun. Uh, second time I've done it. Uh, it, it helps uh, get Shakespeare taught in schools. It, uh, they have a wonderful program. There are vets uh, who come home and get employed working on the shows. And um, so we're here to raise money for that. And how does it feel like to be with uh, Tom Hanks, Martin Show, William Chandler, Sergeant well, Entertainer? Marty and I have been friends forever. And, uh, he's well, it's just a regular day. You guys no, always It's a great out. thrill to be able. We spend the whole day together. And in one hour, we do the Shakespeare play. Wow. Yeah. So let me ask you one more question. If you had to pick any of these guys as your best friend, who would it be? Well, Marty Short. Marty Short, because he's the funniest, right? Well, because he is one of my best friends. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That answers it. We are here with one of the funniest guys of the whole acting industry, Martin Short. How are you doing today? Very good. How are you? First thing I saw you in, Father of the Bride. Hilarious job in there. Thank you, man. What's your name? Pejmon. 
Pejmon with ATV. How are International you? International satellite. Beautiful. Middle East, Europe, America, Canada, all over Fantastic. the world. You want to say hi to the Persians out there? Hello, Persian Gulf. <laughs> oh, there we go. So tell us, what brings you here today for this Shakespearean event? It is a great, great uh, foundation. It, it helps a lot of um, uh, inner school kids. It helps a lot of veterans. And um, Tom and Rita are friends of mine. They, you know, phone me up. I'm here. And I heard you're doing Midsummer Night's Dream. What's your role in it? I am I'm Midsummer Night's Dream, and I am Puck. I knew you were going to be the funny guy. Uh, of, of, course, course. And of course. And Puck is a fairy, right? Well, uh, he just... He, he, he's the one who makes them all fall in love, right? He, yeah, he's a magical being. Exactly. Are you going to be wearing some wings or just I'm in your regular I'm wearing a nude clothes? suit. A nude suit, okay. I'm sure all the girls out there are waiting for that. I hope so. And so tell us what's coming up in career we should look forward to. I'm doing a concert tour around the States. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you know what? Can I just ask you one question? Yes, sir. If you ever need a leading role that you can't find anyone, if George Clooney, Brad Pitt, any of them are busy, you're going to hit me up, right? Absolutely. Exactly. Even if Steve Martin's busy, you'll hit me up. Oh, right? no, no. You're, you're, you're the, my next co-star. Oh, thank you. We are here with the sexy Rita Wilson here. Oh, come on. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm already falling in love. I, I, I don't think Tom Hanks heard that though, right? What? I don't think Tom Hanks heard that, but I'm already falling in love okay, with you. Good. All right, that's good. I'll take she it. She looks beautiful. She's been in almost every movie I've seen. All my, one of my favorites, Thank especially you. Runaway Bride, one of my favorite yes. films. And so you look great. How long have you guys been married, actually? I was We're going to go on 25 years. 25 years? That's, I know. That's a year older than how old I am. I know. 24. And we're here tonight for the Shakespeare Center. Oh, wow. And it's fantastic. We're doing a benefit for Shakespeare wow. Center. <laughs> we're doing a Midsummer Night's Dream with Mr. Martin with Mark Short. Short. of course. The, Mr. The, Billy Crystal. Both Mr. legendary funny guys. The very dreamy Eddie Redmayne. Well, I thought my name was going to be after Dreamy, I'm but like never dreamy. mind. That's true, too. Okay. And uh, the fabulous Cedric the Entertainer, William Shatner, is here. Wow. He's in the house. And Billy so, Crystal. Whoa. I know. All of good. the A-list celebrities yes, here. But the best A-list is right here. Oh, come on. And so tell us, for our viewers out there, what's coming up in your career? Uh, let me see. I have two movies that are coming out. One is called Jutopia. The other one is called wow. Kiss Me. And uh, it's really fun. I have Good Wife this season and uh, Girls. Wow. Well, let's just say I know your marriage has been longer than my age. She doesn't look a day over 16. Look at this. Can we get a 360 for the camera? Look how beautiful <laughs> she is. This is my costume. Exactly. My costume. For October. You look beautiful. What's your costume? Supermodel? No, is that the what theme? What up? He's just trying to win me over. I what am, and I will, and I will. What's in his plan? That's I will. Thank you. We are here with Ben Donenberg, the artistic director of the Shakespeare Center. So how do you feel about this amazing day? Oh, this is a thrill. It's so much fun. We start at noon and we just keep going and knocking out some Shakespeare. It is a really amazing day. This is a 22nd annual and it's this, this, this been this much of a success every year? Oh, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. Next year, Julia Roberts probably. Oh, uh, we've already had Julia oh, Roberts. Oh, wow. There we go. <laughs> this is better than the Inside Actors Studio. All these A-list movies. Oh, and they're so, wonderful. And so what made you create this event 22 years ago? Oh, whoever. Well, the Shakespeare Center is an arts organization that does so much work in the Los Angeles community with youth and veterans and creating art that's accessible to all different people in LA. It's a real mission-driven organization. So are you personal friends with them? To Get, get uh, with many of them, they're really big Shakespeare fans. You know, actors, really great actors have Shakespeare in their DNA. And they love coming out to do this with Because nowadays, acting is all about reality shows these days. Well, Shakespeare was about reality, but it was elevated reality. Exactly. Okay? And so tell us, for this event, next year, do you have anyone in mind for next year? Oh, we're not making any announcements yet, but oh, we do have yet. people in mind. Yeah. Did you hear that we are going to be able to do it? We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. خب میبینم اتون دیگه هفته دیگه با یه برنامه دیگه روی تلویزیون اندیشه وی آی پی پا پشمان شبتون خوش